Hello, my name is Ajay Ajare. I am the team lead of Maxland. And so let's talk about something that's affecting Cincinnati. There's a whole bunch of homeless people. There's a whole bunch of houses that are not being used properly. And there's a lot of people that want to get into houses, but they're finding out they're getting priced out. So what can we do? Let's encourage people to develop their uh, develop houses and to get people into houses, into homes. And that's the gen and that is the thesis of Maxland. So here's Hussein and Hi, my name is Hussein Alassane. Um, I'm a web developer. I thought it would be a great idea to use my skills um, on building an amazing app using the maps and JavaScript. So here we go. Uh, I'm Tyler Estes. I'm actually a little bit different than the rest of these guys. I'm a mechanical engineer, so I decided to stick a little bit more with the hardware. So uh, I did the Amazon Alexa skill coding and stuff like that. But I'll go back to Hussein to uh, show off the web app. I'm Patrick. I am currently in the geography department at The Ohio State University, and this is my seventh hackathon. I was building out mostly the web app and trying to help out where I could with the Alexa skill. And now we're, we're trying to show um, the app, so we have like neighborhoods. It shows, it shows us depends um, on, on the neighborhoods in Cincinnati. And if we click foreclosures, again, it takes a while. Okay, and this is all the foreclosures, uh, or most of them in Cincinnati. And this is our recommendation based on the calculation we did and the uh, average value and all that. So what we, we got this data all from the county census office as well as, what was the other Cincinnati source? Cincinnati Data Hub. Cincinnati Data Hub. So there were a couple different data sources that we had to use for the data. And we ran into a couple problems with trying to get all the accurate information with these data sets. Even though this space is limited to just a single county of Hamilton County, the data sets between the different uh, bureauc bureaucratic organizations, government, were very sparse. They didn't have the same data, they didn't have the same formats, which made massaging the data difficult for uh, AJ and, and Tyler. So now we'll demo the Alexa skill. So the Alexa skill, like, I, yeah, you just took it off for you, but uh, I mean, it's pretty cool. You can ask it a couple different commands. Uh, so we're gonna start, and uh, we're gonna ask Alexa for the minimum property value in East Price Hill. So Alexa, ask of Maxland for the minimum property value in East Price Hill. The minimum property value in East Price Hill is fifteen thousand nine hundred dollars. So as you see there, it read from uh, our Alexa skill right there, and was able to display the minimum property value. You can also do it with the average and max property value. Um, well, we'll demo one last one for you guys real fast, so you can say, uh, Alexa, ask Maxland how many foreclosures there are in Clifton. The number of foreclosures in Clifton is six. So there you go. You can find out the exact number in each neighborhood of Cincinnati. So. AJ, wanted. So in total, in short, we're hoping that this tool will be able to give policymakers, developers, as well as the neighborhoods more incentive to go actually bring our neighborhoods together, get more people in house and create more vibrant communities to make sure that people know that Cincinnati is a great place to live and that we should all come in there. So in that case, if we want to make Cincinnati vibrant and beautiful, let's give them the place to start and to make it better and we can start with the home. So let's, so let's use Maxline to help out people with, with homing and housing. Thank you.